Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. So uh, I thought we'd get back on the foundry furnace project. Uh, it's almost a shame that this thing's been sitting here almost completed for so long and I just haven't really been able to, to finish it out. But with the, the shop project, be trying to get things finished up in here, uh, this quite honestly just got put on the back burner. But we're going to get this thing knocked out. Uh, I'm kind of caught up on the shop now and just needing to check some of these older projects like this, get them uh, off the list and, and everything completed. So uh, work for today is I want to go ahead and finish insulating um, the furnace here. So we've test fired it, we've cured the refractory, everything worked real good. Um, and about the only thing that's left to do is to finish doing the insulation. So if you look on the bottom here, you know, we've got this area in here that's kind of recessed in. And the reason we did that is so that we could put a uh, ceramic blanket around that to serve as insulation, to keep the heat in as well as uh, keep the, a little bit cooler on the outside of the furnace as well. So this thing's just not getting red hot all the way all around. So um, let's come over here. I'll show you what I've got that we're going to use for insulation. We'll go ahead and get it put in and also get a uh, skin put around this thing uh, to protect the insulation. So the product we're going to be using for the uh, blanket, uh, the ceramic blanket is called Sarah Blanket. It's made by uh, Morgan Thermal Ceramics and it is made exactly for this, for high heat situations, uh, providing some insulation. Uh, it comes in uh, various uh, options. The stuff I've got here is one inch thick. It comes in different thicknesses. Uh, we're going to probably put two layers of this around the, uh, the inside to get it to where it needs to be. As far as what this stuff is rated for, it's rated for uh, 2300 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is about 1260 degrees uh, Celsius. And uh, that should be more than uh, adequate to, uh, to provide the protection we need there. So the outer layer of that uh, of the refractory in the furnace is not going to be getting to that kind of temperature. Uh, the inside of, this, of the refractory will, but remember the refractory actually has some uh, insulating properties as well, so, and it's uh, several inches thick, so it's keeping that temperature inside and then this blanket will add another layer of uh, insulation uh, outside of the refractory. So I need to get a measurement on how long to cut the blanket and so I'm just wrapping a tape measure around this and it's about a 60 and a half inches, a little over five feet uh, in diameter in here. So we'll probably cut us a piece that's a little bit long and then uh, trim it uh, to fit once we get it in here. Also, uh, this is 18 inches right here and uh, my blanket is 24 inches so we'll have to trim that up as well got this laid out here and um, I'm cutting it about an inch oversize. Uh, I figure I can always trim it up once I get it in uh, in there pretty easily. So I'm going to mark that and then uh, while I got it on there I'm just going to go ahead and cut it too uh, using that straight edge. So this is just a um, sheet rocker square for cutting sheet rock and uh, this thing comes in handy for doing all kinds of square cuts uh, on plywood and what have you because it's uh, long enough to do that. So anyway, we're just going to take a razor and slice this off. I'm taking light cuts because I don't want to, I'm cutting on a metal table and I don't want to dull up my blade too bad. All right, so that should be to length. The next thing I need to do is trim up uh, the width of this. Again, uh, this blanket here is uh, 24 inches wide and we need 18 inches um, is what we're looking for. So let me get that laid out and we'll cut that as well. So again, we got our straight edge set on 18 inches down through here. Um, so Actually, that's a little bit off. Let's see. That's close enough. We'll go ahead and uh, cut this and I'll come back and cut the other side.
So let's uh, fish this around this thing. Got some pieces to go around. So next thing here, I got a little roll of wire and uh, this is just like some good old fashioned bailing wire. You've heard the expression, duct tape and bailing wire will fix anything. Well, here we go. So um, I'm gonna just wire this on here just so that it won't go anywhere. Just to hold it in place. Um, it's really not for strength. It's just to give it a little tension while we're working on this thing. And Go. Doesn't even need to be that tight. And I'm going to put another one down below it. So there we go. We've got two inches now of this uh, Sarah blanket all around uh, the furnace. It's all wired in place. Uh, and next step here is we're going to put a piece of metal sheeting around here. I've got to get some measurements on that and go get a piece of metal. I don't have one here, but we'll uh, get one cut and get it installed for you real soon. So I got me a piece of a uh, sheet metal cut here uh, for the skin to go around this. And a little story on this. So we got a little sheet metal shop in town, been there forever and ever. Uh, the man that runs it now is actually the second generation. His dad started the business and, and uh, he took it over. Uh, and is, is running it now. It has a really nice uh, sheet metal set up and um, pretty much everything in there you could want. So uh, I've known him for a while and he's helped me out on several things in the past and I stopped in and said, hey, I need a piece of sheet metal for my furnace I'm building. And he's familiar with the furnace build. He actually helped me build the inner uh, form uh, that went in here. And I said, well, how big do you need? And I said, well, it needs to be 24 inches high and enough to go around a 24 inch circle. He said, well, that's more than a piece. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I guess it is. He said, that's about seven foot long. So uh, he said, well, now I can cut you a brand new piece, but he said, it's gonna be expensive. But he said, now, if you'll, uh, don't mind me putting a couple of seams in it, I'll piece you a piece together and it'll be cheap. So he ended up taking three pieces, cutting it up, uh, putting the, the seams in here, which <laughs> I don't care, guys. You know, this isn't a commercial product. Uh, I'm just looking for what's going to work and it doesn't look bad. So uh, anyway, he ended up making this for me, charged me 30 bucks for it and uh, out the door I went. Uh, I have already started fitting it. I had to cut a notch here just because it's, it's wrapping around the upper lid and it needs to go under this bracket here and this little hook where my handle goes. So I trimmed that off uh, and I've also gone ahead and marked down here where I need to cut the hole. Uh, where the uh, air pipe and, and or where the burner goes into the furnace. So we're gonna go over and get that cut out and then we should be able to put this uh, skin on. So I've got this area I wanna cut out. It's actually positioned over one of the holes in the table. Uh, so I'm gonna try to punch through here. It's gonna be a close fit with the, what's under it, but I think I can uh, make this work. I'm gonna start by just drilling a small hole in here. There we go. I'm gonna drill a bigger hole here. Now we should be able to get the jigsaw in here and uh, zip around there. Oh, didn't have my blade in good. One more time.
there. Hopefully that'll be big enough. Uh, we'll put it on there and test it out. All right, let's see if we can get this in here. Um, it takes me a little fishing to get this around this corner here. It has to go in between two pieces, two uprights. Put some marks on here to where things should line up. So let me uh, pull this around. And I got a piece of string that we're going to put around this thing. Uh, go. So um, I just tied a bowling in the end so I got a loop. We'll pull this around and uh, should be able to just tighten it up. All right guys, so I got my rope around here. I did put me a mark on here where I could line it up where this should be pretty close down here to the bottom where I want my pipe to go in. Uh, I've got my string wrapped around here. This should be pulling it good and tight. And I'm just gonna tie it off right here for the moment. And we're gonna do a little test fitting. Maybe have to shovel things around a little bit to get that hole lined up down there just right. So let me grab my pipe. So this will go in like such. So that lines up pretty good. I think I'm going to leave that in there. And we'll tighten this up real good. So now what I want to do is put some screws in here to kind of hold this uh, skin on. And if you remember, there's some uprights that are in here. There's three of them around the furnace. And I'm going to actually put my screws into that. Uh, so I made some marks on here before I covered it up. And I've got my framing square here. And what I'm going to do is just mark where I want to put these. And I think I want to go down about, I'm just going to put some marks on here. That's where their screws are going to go, so we'll... We're going to put two of them right there. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and drill these. And uh, to drill it with, I'm just using a number seven drill bit. We're going to drill and tap uh, the metal into that piece of steel up underneath it, uh, quarter 20, and put some screws in there. So anyway, number seven drill. Let's... Uh, drill these in here. Got a quarter twenty tap here. Oh, 
yes sir. Now let me get my screws. So these are just half inch long, quarter 20 uh, pan head screws. And just as nice as can be. That one's in. I'll go ahead and do the other ones off camera. All right, there it is guys. Uh, pretty happy with how that looks. Uh, I'm gonna give it a coat of uh, black paint. This is just some high heat barbecue paint. Um, uh, let's see, it has a temperature range on it. So it says this paint's good up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I think that would probably be adequate for the skin. It shouldn't get beyond that. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and paint it up. That'll be another wrap on the uh, furnace build series. Um, we're getting real close to having this thing finished now, so I still need to cut a piece of, um, of the blanket to go in here, and I think I'm gonna order me a piece of um, uh, hardboard that's uh, basically rated for high temp, and I'll probably lay that on top of that and just let it kind of sit down in this upper tray. Um, that, and I need to do a little tweaking to the burner, and uh, we should be ready to fire this puppy off, so. Uh, Hopefully here very soon, uh, we can get this thing finished up and uh, maybe do some casting work. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you later.